we have arrived in Baguio. Didn't have a very good start. Rob was sick after the food yesterday. I felt nauseous all morning, but we drove through the night, saw the sunrise, drove through all the mountain passes, and arrived this morning. Just checking into the apartment now, where we're gonna be staying for three days. It's okay, a little bit basic, but I've stayed in lots worse. Town is interesting. It looks a little bit like um, a massive version of Mae Salong in Chiang Rai. Looking forward to seeing some stuff, but first of all, I need to get some rest. I feel exhausted. I think Rob's feeling better now. Let's see what Bagger is like. Morning. How's your eyes? It's quite big in here, isn't it? On closer inspection, we are debating whether we should stay here. Nobody saw any pictures or anything before we came, and it looks a bit rope. Everyone is a bit concerned about this safe looking shower. <laughs> and apparently, the toilet doesn't flush either. I haven't tried that. After spending all night in a car, Rob's not happy, Luz isn't happy. They've gone off to another hotel owned by the same people to see if they can improve on this situation. Meanwhile, we are checking Agoda to see what the rates are for places around here. But most of them are kind of the same quality. We'll see. Hopefully Rob will come back with some good news. We're going to eat the muffins that we bought from the cafe yesterday for breakfast while we're still waiting for Rob. Found a place on Agoda. It looks pretty good. But let's wait and see what they've found. Rob and Luz have decided that they can find a better place so they're going to come pick us up with the bags and take us there. into the Hotel Supreme. What's the view like? Baggy? Sorry. Not bad. It looks like pretty much all the hotels in Baguio are of the same standard. Definitely, if you were to try and compare hotels to what you get in Thailand for the same money, oh, there's, no there's no comparison. Thailand yeah, when it comes to accommodation standards, Thailand wins. But. A room is a room right now. I am so exhausted, we haven't slept properly for days. So we're just gonna crash and see what happens because I need to sleep. Feeling less nauseous. Had a shower and changed my clothes. So we are going to take the big camera and head out onto the streets and see what it's like walking around in Baguio. Everybody's been telling me how dangerous the Philippines is, but we feel like we have to go out and see what it's like for ourselves. Otherwise we never truly know. I understand all the concerns, but I brought my camera so I can take pictures. And if I don't go out there and take some pictures, I'm going to feel like the Philippines is too scary. Just gonna spend an hour or so outside, see what it feels like. Rob and Luz and 
Kim, I think, have met up with some friends, but we're not sure yet. We'll catch up later and have some food, I think. But I'm not going to eat because I want to flush out my system. We just picked a direction when we left the hotel and just started walking which was right <laughs> so we're just having a little look around and a wander to see what's here um, so we're not really heading anywhere specific at the moment it's been a long time since I've taken pictures yeah We brought our camera out with us today to get some pictures because it does look like a very interesting town documenting it both in film and photos today. I was unsure what to expect when I walked out of the hotel because we'd been told, you know, it's not safe and not to do this, that and the other. But so far it's been fine, no one has approached us, no kids are coming up to us or anything like that, which we were told they would do. So, so far it's been fine but it's definitely a different feeling to Thailand. Just spotted a shop that sells bananas and apples, so I'm definitely gonna buy some on the way back because I haven't had any fruit since we left Thailand and my skin is suffering. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell, my, my throat is sore, so I'm, I need some nutrition. <laughs> We've come off the main road, because it was quite busy, and we found a little Chinese temple. We're just going to go and see what it's like. We're going into the church, but I'm wearing shorts and I don't know if that's appropriate. Sure In Thailand it's a big no-no, but then it isn't Buddhist, so there's no sign to say what you should and shouldn't wear, so we'll see. I found a few signs with the rules and regulations. It just says no smoking, no stepping or sitting on the rim of the octagon display, and no pictures inside the building. And no dress code, which is different. <laughs> this is the Bell Church, according to that. Just found a bust of the church founder, Kok Fan. We can't actually walk up into the main bit of the grounds because it's only open on weekends. It's a weekday today. But quite glad we came up. Sasha just asked me if I felt safe because she was feeling a bit uneasy after all the uh, being told how unsafe the Philippines is. But honestly, I feel totally fine here so far. I had zero people approach me, zero kids begging so far. I don't know, totally comfortable at the moment. I like it here. In Manila we were saying it looks like and feels like there's a massive American influence. But from what we've seen of the approach into Baguio, there's a massive Chinese influence here. So it's definitely different. It's only four and a half hours from the city. The hotel gave us a simplified map, but there's no scale so we don't know. Very simplified. <laughs> yeah, we don't know how far things are. I'm noticing Again, all the signs are in English and we went up to a little fruit shop, local fruit shop, and the lady came straight over and said, can I help you in English? So even up here in the hills, seems easy. Yeah. 
Sasha has found her fruits. Get your fruits at last. I have my fruits for eight bananas, two satsumas and one apple. It was 110 pesos, which is very cheap. <laughs> About £1.50 for all that fruit. It's definitely a very photogenic bit of town. Jay's getting some good shots, I think. I can hear him snapping away. How's it going? Good. <laughs> The actual town feels very polluted and there's lots of traffic and you can feel the dust in the air which I didn't expect from a mountain town this far out of the city. We're heading back to the room now because we didn't actually tell my dad that we were going out so he might be looking for us and wondering where we are. I'll go and drop my bananas off and then maybe we'll head out again. Made it back in one piece. I honestly needed to do that because I'm so used to driving my own car, making my own decisions and just walking around and seeing how things feel. And without having the ability to do that for the last few days, I think if we didn't do that right now, it'd start to get to me. So I'm happy that we went out. I really enjoyed that. When we were in Burma with my mum the first time round, we stayed with her friends and they wouldn't even let us cross the road because they thought that we would get into trouble and after a few days we felt completely reliant on them because I don't know they just made us feel like it was impossible for us to travel there on our own and I feel like that could happen in the Philippines if we listen to what everybody says without making any of the decisions for ourselves. So far in my opinion Baguio seems okay. I'm looking forward to seeing what else is out there. The Observe this. <laughs> Observe this. Colour. It's like an orange banana. I'm not sure if the colour will show, but that's not yellow. Weird. Or white. How's it taste? Normal? It's got a slight banana taste. I don't know, it's harder. <laughs> <laughs> Four hour double room with private bathroom, hot shower, and a kettle. It is 2,000 pesos per night, which is about 28 pounds, just under 30 pounds. The hotel has its own restaurant, it's actually got two restaurants, oh, and breakfast is included with that price as well. We are just waiting for my dad, it's going to be dark in about an hour, so we won't spend too long out. We've been dropped off in the town and we're just having a wander up and down some streets. It's very busy and Dad's quite chilly, he's got his jumper on. Bakari <laughs> sweat. Bakari sweat to rehydrate himself. <laughs> and I don't know where we're heading, I think we're just wandering. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the place to go. To get a porridge selection. There's a big shopping mall over there. We are all just walking towards Burnham Park and to have a wonder. The temperature has dropped quite considerably since we've been out of the van. I think as soon as the sun goes in, it's going to get quite chilly, I imagine. Very nice after the sweaty to use this. All the transportations yeah. it's very popular here in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. We were just saying that neither of us expected Baguio to be this busy. It's not just the vehicular traffic, it's human traffic as well. There's so many people out on the street. There's a massive shopping mall here. There's a McDonald's drive through there's lots of fast food restaurants, there's a university, and there was me thinking it was a nice peaceful town in the mountains. <laughs> We're just walking through Burnham Park. <laughs> Boating on the lake. Pipes music. There's a very nice climate right now. 
cool and it's nice to be able to just walk around without the humidity. Yeah, there's no humidity at all. No, very similar to England right now. <laughs> That one's really good for me. <laughs> right, your one's crap. I'll send it to you. Maybe if I put it on Facebook, you can copy it off there or something. Yeah? Okay, we're going to end the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed seeing Badrio with us today. Tomorrow we are heading to another one of the popular parks here and the botanical gardens. So we'll bring you along with us. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a nice comment. Say hi. We'll see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.